Well, here we are in a rather uh, disgusting, hot, humid day in Washington, but things are even hotter uh, over there on the Senate side, where the Republicans are twisting themselves into knots, trying to pass a Republican-only bill uh, to supposedly reform or repeal or whatever uh, the Affordable Care Act. Uh, the latest iteration is not much better than all the bad things that went before it. In some ways it's worse, in a couple of ways it's a tiny bit better. Bottom line, they say, well, let's let the insurance industry sell fake insurance, insurance that doesn't cover anything, and the policies will be really cheap. Uh, and then someone pointed out, yeah, but maybe young people who don't have problems will buy those policies, and you're going to end up over here with much more expensive policies for people who are older and have pre-existing conditions. Plus, they still allow five times premiums uh, for seniors. They're still going to throw, uh, we're not quite sure, 15 to 20 to 22 million people uh, off health insurance over the next 10 years. Uh, they're still going to devastate the Medicaid program, which pays principally uh, for a long-term care for seniors and for kids. Uh, so it's, it's not much better. We got to keep up the heat on the Senate, keep up the pressure. Uh, let's make them come to the table and talk about real improvements to the Affordable Care Act to get even more people better coverage at a lower price.